Here on Cisco's campus in San Jose, the company's chief futurist, David Evans, is trying to predict which technologies will shape our future. In this demonstration room, Evans showed Technology Review, two examples that he thinks could change the way we work for the better. This artificial assistant could allow everyone to have a personal secretary. So what we're looking at here is Hallie, and Hallie is our virtual assistant. And Hallie is connected to the network, so when I ask Hallie a question, she can go out to the network, she can bring that information back and do something meaningful with it. The room that we're in is also, also connected to the network, so she can control elements of the room, the lighting, the heating, uh, windows, and so on and so forth. And I can talk to Hallie using this wireless mic, so let me give you a demonstration. Please welcome our guests. Welcome to the Executive Technology Experience. Take a look out the window to your left. I will make it okay to provide us with some privacy for our demos today. Now, that's a just a quick example where she controlled the room. She could be, it could be lighting, so I might say, dim the lights. Dim the lights. And I might bring them back up. Bring up the lights. Bringing up the lights. Now think about in situations perhaps you're elderly or disabled or you simply need to control something in an environment, what better way than simply using your voice to do it? Hallie can do facial recognition so she could recognize me by, by face. I could walk into the room and she could say, hey Dave, good to see you again, you know, how can I help you? And as this technology matures, ultimately what it allows you to do is it allows anyone to have their own personal virtual assistant. So I could have her on a mobile device, I could have her on a laptop, and I can talk to her through natural language um, sort of paradigms. She can do language translation, as I mentioned, facial recognition. And ultimately, what it allows me to do is personify or provide a front end, a, a human-like front end to all the world's information. So I can ask her about stock, and I, I can ask about weather. Uh, I can have her manage my calendar. As I showed you, I can have her manage the room. So uh, as, as technology um, or computation technology increases, Moore's Law, what have you, and um, uh, the cost of this technology is cheaper and cheaper, we could see one of these devices ultimately being a personal assistant for anyone. Evans is also experimenting with robots that can take your place on a business trip. So this is a AnyBot from a company called AnyBots. And this is a robotic telepresence robot. And what it lets you do is essentially, in a sense, possess this robot from a remote distance and lets this robot become a physical avatar of yourself. So what it allows you to do is attend um, locations or events where you couldn't normally possibly be there in person. So I can connect to this robot over the network using a web browser and I can control this rem robot remotely. And what the robot picks up through its cameras, it streams back to me on the remote end. So what it allows me to do is to attend events, it allows me to socialize, it allows me to talk to my uh, teammates anywhere in the world even when I can't be there. Perhaps I can visit many countries in the same day where it would have been just logistically impossible if I had to hop on a plane. So what this allows me to do is to do a two-way video streaming so that not only can I stream back um, or not only can the robot stream back to me what it's seeing but I can also stream my image so the remote participant uh, can see me too. So we think that this type of technology has really interesting applications where it's not always possible for you to go to a physical telepresence location. What if telepresence could come to you? And here's an example where uh, that robot could come to you and you could uh, use this robot as an extension of yourself anywhere in the world.